Cinema 5D at IBC 2017 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Fujinon, ultimate optical performance. Zuno, conversion lenses from Japan. Manfrotto, imagine more. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, this is Nick from Cinema 5D and I'm here with my namesake Nick from uh, Vision Research. Uh, Nick, we've got a new camera, the Phantom VO 4K PL. Yep. Can you please tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. So we uh, uh, proposed the uh, Flex 4K uh, a few years back and that's basically a, a compact version of that camera that we're offering today. So uh, it's based on the same sensor, so it's really uh, it's going to be able to offer the same frame rates and the same capability. Uh, the, the main difference is going to be that on the Flex 4K we have a camera that is really uh, completely self-contained with uh, very fast storage on board, both RAM and flash storage uh, with the Cinemag, which is capable of one gigabyte per second write speed, which is something we're not going to be able to offer on the more compact version. So uh, on the VO 4K you'll be limited to either CFast card, which you can see at the back of the camera here, or uh, you also have an option which is actually very uh, convenient, which is a uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet, so you can basically download from the camera uh, most of your footage very quickly through a network interface. So uh, the workflow will be slightly different, but it will be more adapted to applications like drones and uh, similar, similar cases where you need a, a compact camera. Okay, but um, the technical specs of the two cameras are basically exactly the same. They both can shoot a thousand frames at 4K. Yeah, that's correct. And they, they are. both are global shutter. They are both actually uh, capable of both modes, global and rolling shutter. So uh, basically, the VO 4K has the same capabilities as the uh, Flex 4K GS, which has also both modes. Okay, great. Uh, Nick, can you maybe show us how the VO works? Yeah, sure. The, the camera is going to be operated uh, just like any other Phantom camera. Uh, for those of you already familiar with uh, former uh, or yeah, previous generations of Phantom cameras, uh, that's going to look like uh, what our cameras looked like a few years back in terms of operation. So since it's a very compact camera, we integrated again the same type of buttons and uh, small controls that can fit on a small camera. So basically you would have a knob here that you can use to operate a menu uh, so that menu is going to offer you possibilities to change resolution, frame rates, exposure times, shutter angles, and all types of, of uh, different parameters. And that will also allow you to actually save uh, pre presets, so you can quickly switch from one um, set of parameters to another. So that's uh, actually quite convenient. And it can also manipulate what you have just shot. So if, if you actually um, set the camera to recording and you actually you know, record something, you can play back from the camera, um, quick, fast, whatever you can, you want to do. Uh, you can actually set, you know, inputs, in, in points and out points um, rather quickly. Actually, it's, it's quite uh, ergonomic, I believe. And um, that allows you, once you have set your in and out points, you can actually then save directly to uh, the Cine Flash on the, on the camera, the CFast card on the camera. So you, you can really uh, work without a, a computer if you, if you want to. Um, but then again, you still have that possibility to connect to, um, to the camera through 10 gigabit Ethernet. Other than that, the camera comes with different options for power. Uh, obviously, it's a compact camera, so you're going to use that camera in different configurations where you don't have mains power which means that you will typically power the camera through a battery. So we have a V-mount, uh, a V-lock, sorry, a V-lock mount that sits on the side of the camera that will be able to, uh, to power the camera in a more autonomous way. And that's going to be suitable for different workflows um, in the field or on set. And uh, we also have a number of different signals available, uh, like the basic things like synchronizing if you have multiple cameras for stereo, uh, and of course you also have uh, video outputs, viewfinder power, all the classic things you would expect from a camera of that type to be used in the field. So Nick, can you please tell us about the pricing and the availability of the camera? Yeah, so the camera, uh, we are taking orders now and uh, we are going to be able to deliver in about eight weeks from now. Um, the camera comes in its standard media kit with a PL mount, still changeable but with a PL standard uh, for $76,900 US dollars. Um, and again, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a real product, it's here, it's available, so we're releasing here. So. Okay, well that's uh, everything you need to know about the Phantom VO 4K PL. 
Thank you very much, Nick, and thanks for watching.